Logan's farm here and wow made the kitchen very smoky doing that because I got the oil a little too hot and yeah because I didn't have a thermometer so I'm guessing it but uh, yeah we got two hostess cakes and two Twinkies deep fat fried these are the two oldest ones so they should be about right to eat now so let's see Mm. 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 Oh my god. I think I just died. Mm. Now, these were probably not done properly, <clears throat> as in the way you should do them. Oh, oh my god, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Just look at this thing, it's like, yum, yum, yum. That is the first and last Hostess brand deep fried Twinkie I will ever have. Well, not last, there's still one more, but I'll probably let my dad try that one. But here's a cupcake. Oh man. like a brownie. Oh man. And it's just the right temperature. It's like warm, not hot. Oh man. Look at that. Oh. Mm. like the perfect combination of like oil, 
crispy, fluffy crust, chocolatey center. I think I just felt an artery clog. I mean, this one really just tastes like a brownie. <clears throat> that nice, warm, chocolatey <clears throat> inside with a crispy crust on the outside. Greasy. Oh. Man. Mm. <clears throat> I would say to anybody who has any Twinkies, cupcakes, anything hostess left, deep fat fry it, at least two of them, you will not regret it. It is awesome. Oh, um, I'd like to thank, uh, I wish I could change a subscriber. He's the one that got me into it, uh, Steve. He's the one that sent me the link for the recipe. I'll put the link in the description. It's pretty simple. Not many ingredients needed. So oh, good. <coughs> oh, oh. I mean, I'm just... I'm foaming at the mouth. I mean, oh. A little bit of malt liquor. It's like they were meant to go together. Carnival food and beer. Um, if you're doing it on the stove with just a pan or a pot or something like that, heating the oil, I'd recommend a thermometer. Um, you get that oil too hot for even a little bit, creates a lot of smoke. Can't breathe. We had uh, I smoked the kitchen up because I don't have a thermometer. I was just kind of guessing. Uh, same thing when I cooked them. <clears throat> No idea the oil temperature. It was hot. Might have been towards the end there. It might have been a little less than what was needed, but uh, it worked. It definitely came out pretty good. But yeah, I definitely recommend a the thermometer if you're going to do this. If you got a deep fat fryer like one of them countertop things that tells you or heats only heats to the oil temperature you set it at, you're golden. Just uh, you probably want to do it with the lid open. Because you got to push these things under, otherwise, or flip them at least. They're kind of round, so they only want to stay on one side or the other, whatever side's heavier, so you got to flip them. Keep turning them. So that's for putting them on a long stick or a skewer, and you can just drop them down in there and you can turn them however you need to, or having a fork or something to spin them. But yeah, that's a uh, deep fat fryer is a much better option than doing stove top, unless you have a thermometer, you can properly. Or properly know how to do that. This was just all guesswork for me. So, uh, best thing ever is just trying it and uh, have a good day, guys. <coughs>